Okay guys, if you want to get started in FPV, this is what you should get. If you're starting out and you've never flown uh, a drone before, I'd recommend the Mavic Mini. Um, it has GPS, um, it's small, like um, a lot of quads are about this side, size. Now if we go over here and this is a toothpick, this is um, more... Intermediate, you could say it takes a, um, a 2S battery. Um, you have to bind it in, um, with a receiver that supports, um, access. This one comes with a controller, a little more floatable. Um, so, if you are wanting to take pictures, video, this is the way to go. Okay, it has gimbal, battery, and it's, it's removable, same as this one, clearly has that connector. But, with this one, I'm pretty sure it's just two 18650s. Or at least that's what it look, looks like. Now, let's compare controllers. Okay, um, here are the controllers. This is the Mavic Mini controller. You know, um, has two antennas. The bottom folds out for a phone. Let me do that real quick and show you. Alright, this one's unfolded. Um, the sticks are completely removable. They can be placed here and here. With this one, it's a, you know, a little more complicated one, could say. Have switches, which um, arm disarm switches, um, turtle mode switches. You know, you can set this to whatever you really want to in beta flight. Now to turn this one on, just hold that down, and it'll vibrate. With this one, you click it once, and like that. I'm just gonna turn that off, and it's the same to turn it off. See this one stick movement, you can use it in a sim. I haven't tried this one in DRL sim, but it will work with DJI sim. But if you are interested in this, it's um, a Tyrannus series um, Eversky. It's Axis protocol, as you can see right there. Oh, and you can also have modules, and it takes two 18650s. And you don't need a special charger or anything like that. It, you know, and with this one, you have some ports. And this one only has one port. This is the same port that you use to connect your phone. And the same port that you charge it. Which I don't really have that much of a problem with. But it's a proprietary port. So if that port goes, more than likely you're replacing the controller. But this one folds so compact, which is one thing I like about it. Now, a Phantom controller is similar to this. So, I could probably get out my Phantom 4 controller and show y'all one day. It looks similar to this, but it doesn't look as, you know, you don't have all these switches. Like, there are some switches. And then here would be, a, you know, for the gimbal, same as this one, gimbal switcher here, and you have uh, film and then video or photo and video. Now let me just show you this one fully compact real quick. Now with this one, you know, it's fully compact. This could easily fit in your pocket. But I like to take mine to school, so, and fly. Now with this one... You can still do something similar, well not even similar, it kinda just makes sure your sticks aren't bumped. But I have taken my FPV set up to school, and it isn't fun, because of how bulky it is, and I can't carry my mouse and my Xbox controller, because they don't really care what we do. I essentially get free A's. But... It really depends, and this, with FPV, one controller binds to, um, a, 
a lot like for example this one will bind to anything that supports access axes or access or with um d16 but i'll just go ahead and run you through the menu because why not do now this one will give you a warning but i'll just go ahead and take it off now as you notice when i lowered the throttle you know it decreased and i can see, you know you can see live stick movement menu go over here it's hard okay now that s1 okay that is what i use for my sim page now it's very simple for setup you would just go ahead and run down now see you can set a lot of different things if i find it Oh, we did we go into S1 mode? Yeah, that explains a lot. As you can see in S1, I turned off the transmitter because I'm using it for a sim. <laughs> what is it? Why is it going, still going in the S1? I'm really deeply confused. Back on it. Back off. Page. I know. I, I wasn't selecting the model. Oh, and this is also a click button. Boop. Page. As you can see, I'm in uh, Access D16, and it's very easy to bind. You just go there and you set the bind protocol in your um, controller, which is, and it'll beep, and you can choose channel weight, telemetry on or off and channel 16 on or off, but I don't want to do that right now. And then, you can go through set, fair say, different things. But, I think that's going to be it for this video. I kind of went through and showed everything. But, at the end of the day, if you haven't flown, go with a, a Mavic Mini, or just any Mavic, even a Phantom. Uh, my first uh, DJI drone was a uh, Phantom 3, and I got Mavic, and then I got a Phantom 4, and I got a, um, a Mavic, um, what, yeah, another Mavic, but, yeah, pretty good, and it's held up over a year, um, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.